It may not look like much, but we're making some progress. What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's another day. In the last video, you saw us moving um, a pretty large piece of equipment, which is an oven for our new shop. In this video, we are literally rearranging the whole entire shop to, to fit that piece of equipment in. So um, I'm gonna show you around a little bit. We already started, so I'm kind of slacking on the videos, but um, we already started moving everything around. I have Arlie back there. Um, just kind of cleaning things up and organizing and we threw out a bunch of stuff uh, We vacuumed a bunch of stuff. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll show you guys around and Hopefully the new setup of the shop is a lot better for us as far as workflow as far as workflow goes and um, You know, hopefully it'll be a little more productive and I'm super excited for the new oven to finally get that going um, pick up some larger and better jobs and see um, see where this journey takes us oh uh, before I go back there and show you guys around I'm gonna show you a layout that I did in CAD of our shop uh, how the equipment's gonna be laid out so uh, stay tuned for that all right so hopefully you guys can see this okay I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit um, this is pretty much our shop here it's about I think the back area is about 2200 square feet so essentially what you're seeing here, I'll zoom in. Um, this is our front office area. So you walk in through a door. Um, we have a, a, a set of stairs that goes to a loft and then you, you're gonna be walking into the shop area here. On your left hand side, we're gonna have our spray booth which we're extending to kind of match up with our new oven. Um, and that's pretty much our new setup as far as the new oven goes. So we have that tucked away out of the way we have plenty of space in here to to move around store stuff you know parts go in and out through here so we needed that area there um, over on this wall um, we have i actually went around and took rough measurements of every piece of equipment and benches and things of that nature um, so that way i could just kind of lay everything out in our space here um, so in front of the spray booth obviously we have the powder gone we're gonna have a small powder rack and then we have two compressors um, and an air dryer that are here and that's where they currently are we're not moving those um, over here we're moving our cabinet and then we have our large parts rack where we store all of our parts that come uh, that come in so that's there um, back here this is just uh, the Evo storage, believe it or not, and my toolbox as well as my cabinet. So normally what happens is when we have cars that come in to get wheels refinished, we basically park the car in this area um, and that's where the car lives until, um, until we're done with it. So for now, the Evo is basically pretty much going to live here. It used to be where the spray booth is, but now it's going to live here. Um, and as we get cars in and out, I'm just gonna have to push the thing uh, in and out. So. But that's that's kind of how it goes. Um, over here we have our like cleaning and parts washing area, and then over here uh, is going to be our uh, dust collector and sandblaster, and then also we have a bunch of storage behind it. I kind of tucked the dust collector back there so that way it's out of the way and we could squeeze it in this space, and it actually gave us uh, some storage that we that we needed. Uh, we have a big 4x8 uh, workbench that's going to go here and then I have a smaller silver workbench and a toolbox that will go there and then obviously our oven again. So that's pretty much the layout of the shop so in the meantime I'm going to show you guys around what we accomplish, accomplished so far and then go from there. This is, this is where the boys stay. So they actually have their own pretty cool little area. We have them sectioned off here. So buddy boy is there and then believe it or not Charlie this dude there he is he hangs out in the bathroom all day long that's a spot in the dark and he closes the door himself all right so here we are as far as where we're at so far so this is our big part storage rack that we're actually moving over next to that flammable cabinet way down there if it'll zoom in 
So that's going to go there. Our new spray booth is going to go here. And then exactly where this rack is, this whole entire space, pretty much up to the blaster is our new oven. So I have Arlie here literally all day. These poor guys have been moving stuff around. You can see the whole place is just a mess, but we're getting it done. Um, that's our workbench. That's gonna go literally where that oven is. And if anyone is interested in the oven, hit me up. It's probably gonna be for sale in the next couple months. So that's our compressors and the little toolbox and the bench. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at with everything. So this is the next step to move this whole entire thing over to this clean area here, which is gonna be nice. So we, we used to have, which we literally just took down today, um, a hanging rack that we used to use for parts. Uh, now we're gonna switch things over a little bit and have two rolling racks that we're gonna swap back and forth between the oven and that's where everything's gonna hang. Um, so, and then obviously that's our booth. The booth itself is gonna pretty much get extended towards me here, uh, another three and a half feet so we can accommodate larger parts. Um, eventually, I think we'll replace this unit, but for now, we're gonna do what we can with it. You guys wanna see something really satisfying? Don't get much better than that. That's nice. It may not look like much, but we're making some progress. We moved over the whole entire shelf. That's moves. All the wood is back in. And we got the whole top shelf loaded up. That's all of like just general shop stuff, plumbing stuff, paint, woodworking stuff, my parts. Um, so that's all loaded up. Arlie's cleaning up some parts. I have been here forever. If anybody wants this, bang my line, as Devin Niemela would say. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to keep on going. All right, it's Saturday. We're laying out the footprint for the oven. Casper's here. So is Dougie. I have Doug here changing some things around. That's our uh, radiant heater. So we're changing out the thermostat. Well, we're changing out where the thermostat is gonna go because the oven is gonna be here. Now the thermostat is moved over to there. Dougie's running new wire to it because that one's too short and it's yellow. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I just picked up a hammer drill because the one I have is no good. And we are pretty much setting the footprint of the oven. So I just drilled holes and screwed this one down with two screws this thing is solid it's nice and we're using we're using the uh, tap cons and drilling with 3 8 bit and that works pretty damn well and the good thing about it is we can always uh, unscrew that if we ever replace the oven or get a new one so um, this uh, air handler here is a little bit of a pain in my ass we have like certain dimensions that were off the wall but as you can see, it follows the beam and it's right above that beam. So we'll have to do an elbow that goes, that goes over and out. So we're going to be moving the blaster around and then just kind of setting this footprint again. Um, I have Doug here again to run new wiring for the booth and move, moving a couple things over. So it's coming together.
All right, so we have the footprint of the oven all set. Everything's bolted down. And we have our hot box pretty much assembled. And then this is the top of it with all the controllers. So that's, we're gonna lift that up, set it right on here. And that's the back burner, which is gonna get wired in. And the air handler, which has a pretty screwed up belt that we have to replace, but it's not terrible. I took off this part of the track just so we could get in with the forklift, but you can see all the, uh, all the holes already in. So once that goes up, then we can kind of finish, finish everything here. And that's pretty much it. That's how far we got so far. There's a lot of moving around. We moved the blaster, we had to clean, we vacuumed the walls, we did everything. So now we're just literally gonna place this guy on top of there. It's now Sunday. Casper came in this morning for half a day. He cleaned out the whole entire booth. We got the filters out. So that's all nice and clean. We're going to be moving this from here all the way over in that corner over there next to the stairs. So it's been a game of freaking moving, moving things around just to kind of get everything into place. But this is where the booth's going. So we're gonna unbolt everything. And then on Wednesday, I have new panels coming for the booth so we can extend it, so we can extend it out another three feet. So it kind of matches the new size of the oven. So yeah, we're gonna take the uh, the big air box that's here with the uh, with the grid that's going to go outside. We're going to blow everything off, clean it, and make sure it's good, and then uh, take it from there. Just straighten out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop. We'll adjust it once it's on the floor. You can drop it.
Don't hit it. And that's how that goes. All right, so we got the uh, <laughs> we got the booth moved over. Casper is in this little crevice here. And he's just slacking over here. He's having a good time. And need two more bolts. You're gonna have to take him off here, and we'll have to replace him. So the booth is moved moved over. We blew everything out. The oven is still apart, and we're moving the the blaster finally back to its final well to its final spot which is going to be right here so it's slowly but surely shaping up a lot of moving around of everything it's like every time you have to put something somewhere something has to move you know what they say you can never have enough space so back to it all right we're back on monday did some work yesterday i have casper up here how you doing brother we got new filters in the booth and the booth is all wired in. We have our new switch for the light. The, um, that's our designated outlet for the powder gun. So that's on its own separate circuit. And then we have the disconnect for the fan motor for the booth. So all new electrical here, which is nice. We have spare outlets for Casper's flashlights and anything else that he may use. The TV is gonna be moved sooner or later. And then I organized yesterday all the new oven panels. So we have our wall panels there, the back panels. And these are two front panels and the doors. Uh, we have all the, the top ceiling panels over there still. So I'm actually waiting for a seal and some high heat silicone. These panels, they over time, they kind of warped. You can see that. So I bought a new seal to go in between the panel and the, and the burner box. So that's gonna be nicely sealed up. So we're kind of uh, at a stand standstill for the oven at the moment until tomorrow. But once we have that, it should go pretty quick putting everything back together. Um, I called my buddy James. We're going to be doing a new pitch pocket in the ceiling there. That's going to be for the oven. There's going to be a new pitch pocket in the ceiling above the blaster for the exhaust there. And then we decided to put a new vent for the flammable cabinet just so everything's nice and safe and to code. And I'm, um, oh, actually, I redid all the airlines today so we have a regulator and a trap so that's all redone i redid this side too before we had a bunch of uh, other things here that kind of dropped down for the blaster so that's done and then there's there's some of that stuff and then I'm redoing the blaster. So I'm redoing all of the bottom hoses with new lines. So everything's fresh. I got to redo the, the little pop blaster that we have. And then back here is we have some sand storage. And then I'm going to do a T off of that line there for the pop blaster. And then the other lines are going to connect straight to, to the drop here. And that's pretty much it. All right, the blaster is all set up. Well, almost, we're waiting on a couple of parts to come in. We, uh, we ordered a bunch of maintenance items for it, so that way we can have both of the sides operational. Um, we're going to add a metering valve on the bottom there, kind of like we have here. Um, the pop blaster is gonna get relocated from there to there. And then we have our new airline, which I know is weird. It goes over the blaster, but I'll show you why and over to our new airline setup back here. So we did the, 
quote unquote drop upside down so that way any moisture doesn't fall down the drop it just kind of passes through we do have water traps down the line over there but just in case we don't want water or or any any oils or anything coming down the drop there so that way we have nice clean air going to the blaster um, we rarely see any water in these lines over here at the end of the shop um, so we'll be nice and safe we have a quick disconnect there a pressure valve and then uh, we're also replacing this filter we relocated the uh, the suction hose that you see there. This is all of our media, and these are our new lines that run to the pedals for the conventional blasting. And we added here a little hose reel, so it's all nice and tucked away. So the blaster is pretty much set up. We're just waiting on those couple little parts. In the meantime, Casper's already coating stuff with the new booth in place. Just did this great, and I got here a new, um, what do you call these, fiberglass uh, gasketing and high heat silicone. So we're going to isolate the burner box. As you can see that that's the silicone there. We're going to isolate this, the burner box from the panels that we're about to put up. Um, so that way everything's kind of sealed off. Um, like I showed in the last video, they, uh, they kind of warped a little bit. So... We're gonna seal that up so it's nice and clean. All right, we're nicely sealed up. We went to the edge of the overlap here so it kinda, it kinda tucks right in. So this is all nicely glued and that's high heat silicone rtv so we did all the uh all the little seams there in here and then once we have the panels in we're gonna have casper go inside there and we're gonna do all the corners with just silicone just rtv to kind of seal up the the burner box all right we got one panel in and we sealed no don't touch it we sealed the whole inside of the burner box now it's a little hard to see but you can see that red that's red rtv that's rated for i think 650 degrees so the whole burner box is sealed up so that way it's not pulling in or blowing out any heat and everything's kind of contained as possible and then we have obviously our seal that connects the panels these panels are a little mangled from the heat obviously this is a used oven so we did our best to seal that up from this side and this side. There's like, there's angles and whatnot here. And even though there's a gap there, it's all sealed up. The panels over time, I guess they warp. I might put another angle, little angle here, just to kind of seal things up. Last night we made some progress. Me and Casper did the whole burner box, everything sealed up. And we did the two front panels. And then I had to leave for the day. Casper stayed back and he actually put all the sidewall panels together. Um, this morning we just started. We're, we're putting up the two top, um, all the top caps up so we can get our ceiling in. Once we have that, then we have an L angle that goes here that's going to support our, um, 
our vent panels. So essentially this, the height of the oven is at this point. And then this is a, a calculator relief uh, for the CFM of the, the burner. So I have Arlie up there screwing up the top caps. Um, so everything's tight. Um, luckily all the holes are lining up, which is good. And we left some room on the side of the oven here. So we could get a ladder in and get the other side bolted up. So moving right along after the ceiling is in, then we'll do the, the vent panel. Once the vent panels are in, then it's the doors and the front header unit. And then that's pretty much it. Making progress. Arlie and I just kind of tied all the walls together, screwed everything together. We have our angle on for our vent panels and obviously the ceiling is now in. So this is the vent panel. It's a little dark in here, but that's one of them. And then they all interlock throughout and then all the heat basically travels through that top portion of the oven and then comes down heats the oven and then gets retracted back through that back vent there. So now we'll put all of these guys in. Those will create our ceiling and then we're going to tie the whole oven together and we have a one large big panel that crosses there. Welcome to the roof of our new oven. I uh, The walls are just obviously panels as you guys saw and so are the ceiling panels so everything's kind of a little flimsy as far as connecting everything together so they give us these strips here to connect everything together so i actually strapped the oven walls together i still got to do that one so that way everything's nice and tight up against the roof panels um so we can screw everything together so we have a strip there strip there we have a strip up front and then there's like a little mating strip right here which looks like somebody added so we'll just throw that on there too we're getting closer and closer we got the whole front end of the oven on, the doors are on. These were a little bit of a pain in the butt to get them to, to kind of line up. And don't mind this, all this stuff is going to be moved over once our old oven is gone. But the doors are finally on. So believe it or not, well, it's very believable actually. When we put the oven together, the... Uh, the diagonal from here to there and from here to there was a little off and as you can imagine these are just panels so really the only thing squaring the oven off is just that very top uh, top piece there so when we put the doors on they're all kinds of out of whack so we actually had to move the oven up top a little bit and brace it from the wall which that's gonna get replaced that's just temporary but we're gonna put another brace there to kind of keep everything in in place it could be that our floors out of whack and also we squeeze the panels together so that raised the panels a little bit um, so that could be causing an issue too but we got them to to close pretty well I'll show you guys so this has a little zigzag here to kind of interlock the doors and what we're gonna do is actually put a seal right along here to kind of seal it against the oven there so that way the oven is nicely sealed. We have it sealed inside the burner box. This is gonna be nicely sealed with new, uh, new um, rope seals. The bottom we're gonna drop down. There's like a little seal there. So we're gonna drop that down so it touches the floor. And then the whole outside of the oven, at least in the, on the bottom here, we're going to silicone. So that way there's no draft, nothing's pulling in, nothing's blowing out. All the heat is kind of contained as much as possible in there. So, so then we close this 
and then we close this and then the, the hall oven is locked up we have to adjust these wheels because right now they're a little off the floor which is okay we'll adjust that um, but the oven is all together also Ryan from Medley which is a company down the road made us some extension panels as you can see there for our booth so that way the oven's larger the booth is larger eventually I think we're going to replace this booth with a, with a better unit but for now this works so we have all new panels that extend the booth all the way through um, I just have to pick up hardware to kind of screw everything back together because uh, we ran out and nobody locally has it so I have to get that but that's our two new units after we moved everything around in the shop so this was like the whole idea before we even got this place to kind of have two units like this in this spot so we can uh, we can kind of square off the rest of the shop and I'll show you the other side um, obviously that oven is going to be gone and then we'll have a nice large area to work with um, obviously all this stuff is going to get reorganized once um, once we finish cleaning up um, also yesterday Casper and I went on the roof and we vented our flammable cabinet so that's vented to the roof and the dust collector on the blaster is also vented um, it was actually really rainy last night so it was a good test for our pitch pockets up there so that worked um, the blaster got all kinds of new hardware all new airlines so this thing is up and running again and we have that's today's project is getting these uh, this these spheres blasted and coated um, and I have a set of wheels to put together but everything's in place and I think the next step is really going to be connecting this oven to some fuel which is either natural gas or propane this oven is actually set for um, a propane fuel so we'll see how things go believe it or not that burner is huge compared to let's say like a household burner so this is 800,000 BTUs which has been a pain in my ass because uh, in order to run it we need to either upgrade our supply line which is up there to a two and a half inch uh, in diameter pipe so basically in order to do that we have to get a permit get a new meter outside and then run a whole new line into the building so as you can imagine it's costly it's annoying to deal with the town so um, the other option is to get a large large propane tank outside and run a line in to the unit and then just call it good that's how this was set up originally so we're kind of leaning towards that um, I do have to call the propane company see what their thoughts are see if we can even have a tank outside um, so this this kind of became an issue as we were putting this together um, which we kind of didn't anticipate I should have thought about it earlier but that's alright you know you live and you learn um, this oven was a pretty good deal to pass up so I'm glad we have it and we'll make it work um, we'll make it work from here uh, for now it's here it's together so that's pretty much it guys um, I hope you enjoyed this little series something a little different and uh, we'll keep you posted as we basically move along with this project you know the, uh, the booth is gonna get finished up in the next day or two and then obviously the oven is here so once we get that hooked up we'll, we'll show you guys how it's running what we're doing with it and um, in the meantime if anyone is interested in an oven uh, let us know this is a six by six by four so six feet wide six feet in height four feet in width um, it's an electric unit three phase if anyone's interested in this guy just let us know um, obviously we need to keep using it until this is running but it's still a good unit um, we replaced a lot of the wiring inside so everything's nice and safe um, a lot of the fuses are up top were replaced as well we have a disconnect on it we added the wheel uh, new latches 
Um, so we, this is what we use on the daily, believe it or not. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.